So for the ingredients, we've got our Italian seasonings. Well, that one I already had in my cabinet, but these are from my lovely little seasoning rack I got for Christmas from Gray. I got my canned diced tomatoes, my bow tie pasta, Pinot Grigio white wine. This is the Three Wishes brands, $3 at Whole Foods. And we've got spinach, sliced mushrooms, minced garlic. And of course, my I thought out my little cooked mini shrimp. These are salad shrimp that I got from Aldi's. They're already cooked. I just thawed them out and they won't even be used to the very end because they don't need to cook too much and shrivel up. On medium heat, you want to get a little bit of olive oil. I love the extra virgin olive oil. And disperse that all throughout the pan so you get a nice even cook for the next ingredients here. Next, you want to add the mushrooms. Once all the mushrooms have been added, you want to go ahead and take your wooden spoon or spatula, whatever you're using, and make sure the mushrooms get a good amount of evenly distributed extra virgin olive oil around it. We're going to cook this until you get a nice goldeny brown color out of the mushrooms. It's going to take you about, I'd say, three to five minutes before you see a little bit of grease on the mushroom and a nice golden brown color. It's going to be nice and soft, gather a little fragrance. It's going to look great. Here we have the mushrooms, a little golden brown, just how I like them. And save water, use wine. I'm gonna add that Pinot Grigio to make that Marcella-like white wine pasta sauce, even though we're not using Marcella wine. The Pinot Grigio is just fine, or whatever you have at the house, you can use Chardonnay. Just make sure you use a nice white wine to cook those mushrooms in and don't worry the alcohol will be cooked you're not going to be getting drunk off of your pasta alcohol the properties burn once you cook it on a stove After giving the wine and the mushrooms enough time to kind of marinate together, I'd say about two, three minutes, we're going to add the spinach in. Add a good little handful of spinach or whatever your greenery of choice is for your pasta. After you stir it around, it's going to get more attractive looking, more fragrant, just all around more fabulous, trust me. You should be then ready to add diced tomatoes. Now I used about a can and a half in the beginning, but after I put the bow tie pasta in, I added the remainder half can of the pasta. So you will use a good amount of tomatoes because that is what makes the sauce here. And when you add the pasta, that tomato flavoring is gonna get eaten right up, trust me. After the diced tomatoes, you can see that I've added about a teaspoon of minced garlic because mine is already in a can. If you have yours chopped up or minced, you can already add that. But make sure you add that after the diced tomatoes and everything else has been added because, or excuse me, garlic, it has a tendency to burn fast. That's why we add it a little bit later. And then you can add your seasonings, your thyme, 
your Italian seasoning at this time before we add the bow tie pasta, which is coming up next. It's pasta time. You saw how good looking that sauce was? Smoking, baby. It's time to add that freaking bow tie pasta and get it cracking. So after I added, I added the full box of pasta, by the way. Make sure you disperse with your spoon all of that pasta. Make sure it gets to absorb all of that good sauce. Just take your spoon and just mix it and mix it and mix it. Because this is a one pot recipe, this is really important. You want everything to be evenly distributed, not just simple. That's the beauty of this recipe. It is simple, but flavorful at the same time. But you gotta follow the instructions to get it just right. So at this point, we've mixed all of our ingredients in. Now all that's left is to make sure you don't burn your pasta. Really, I don't even like to cover it unless I'm watching it. I don't cover my one pan pasta unless I'm gonna watch it and stir it every few minutes. So this is just me stirring it. And then after you stirred it and it's getting softer, the pasta's been cooking for about 10 to 12 minutes, maybe more depending on how your heat is. I've lowered my heat down after I put the pasta in so it could cook slow. And I've added my shrimp. My shrimp is already cooked. This is already like a cooked cocktail or it's a cooked salad shrimp is what it said on the bag. And because of that, I didn't really need to apply it earlier. It's really just gonna warm up a little bit and get some more seasoning. Feel free to add some salt and pepper to your shrimp prior to, or whatever seasoning you want to do, prior to putting it in your pasta. But this is how it's looking after it's all mixed. Now I'll cover it after I put the shrimp in it for a few minutes. But keep an eye on it. And look at how gorgeous that looks. Now look at that. That is a good looking pasta. Mushrooms, shrimp, tomato sauce all from scratch, wine. This is gonna impress people. And all you need to do to make it vegan is have no shrimp. Bon Appetit. This is how it looks when you serve it and you add a few little parsley flakes on top for greenery. You know, I love to have a nicely decorated plate. Make sure you guys read the full recipe at thebeautyintheeats.com. I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs>